This is the Rafa Ryan procedure. I did this yesterday here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. What a ride it was. Probably the hardest century ride I've ever done. I reckon. I can't think of a harder ride. And uh, I think a lot of people would have struggled on this ride. It was very, very steep. We had mud. We had gravel. We had technical descents. A lot of climbing. And uh, very, very steep climbs as well. And the climbs that weren't that steep, we had them in the hot, hot sun. It was a fantastic, fantastic route. So if you go to my Strava, you can download this ride and do it yourself. And uh, let me know in the comment section what you thought of this ride. If you ever get out to doing it, it was definitely a ride to uh, put in your bucket list. The uh, Rafa ride from 2017. It was epic. It was fucking epic. Make sure you bring lots of water. Make sure you bring lots of snacks and uh, bring some sun protection because it's going to get hot out there. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more of these style of videos. Action. This is papaya. If you do wake up with a sore pelvis, if your girlfriend gave someone a sore pelvis one time, consume some of that. It'll help ease the pain. Versus make a Mount Rushmore <laughs> style documentary video for Turinata. One hour 15 spells cuck beater. This is incredible. Walk in here and you bring me more, man? <laughs> Woo, that's a brilliant plan, is it? You got one part of that wrong. This is not meth. Today we're going for a ride. This is how I wake up in the morning. Oh. Oh, it's early in the morning. My helmet's always tilt a little bit. <laughs> Being a narcissist, that really triggers me. Uh, we're meeting at six o'clock here at Maya. Could have slept in a bit longer. A couple of riders already out. Crisp morning, morning for it. Really cold here in Thailand. You can see I got the full winter kit on. Uh, so the format of the ride today is just a raffer ride. Um, just tagging along, bringing my own supplies, my own snacks, and uh, just, just sussing out the route because I normally pick a pretty good route, so I want to sort of steal that route. Public road, it's not a closed road today, it's just a public road, so I want to steal that route and uh, take some of my uh, my crew on there this week. We'll see how it goes, if it's safe enough for the, for the, the noobs, etc. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward. A bit of gravel roads, a bit of climbing, 2,800 meters, so not, not too bad, nothing too hardcore, but uh, let's do it. So it's got the course, this is maps.me. Really, really cool app. Works offline so you can save your battery power. First casualty day with broken spoke. Yeah. This is incredible. Listen. Welcome to Thailand. Check this place out. Look at this. Look at this. Abandoned, this is a Hansel and Gretel house almost. Wow. Pigs you could live in here. That's crazy. Just abandoned. Still by the road.
Okay? Yeah. Cool. Okay. This place. Look at that. Epic as a little house down there. They've taken us on this goat track. Beautiful. I was just with Mike. I think Mike's taken the wrong turn because the Rafa van stopped. I'm not sure if Mike's in front of me or he took it to get going straight because this is a steep little ramp up in here, so it doesn't look like we're meant to come here, but this is the route. This is the route. Thanks to Map Stop Me. Shout out to Jesse Carlson for giving me a heads up. That's one of the best riding tools ever. Map Stop Me on your phone. Much better detailed than the Garmin, etc. Uh oh, here we go. Okay, so I'm doing 300, 300 something watts. I'm in the 2240. Chris Frooming. Look at this wall, fuck! It's about to get steeper. Oh, this doesn't do it justice, wow. Figsy, give me some backup, Figsy. Figsy? Yeah. Figsy will fuck you up, buddy. 300 watts still. My bike's about to do an endo, look at that. Mountain bike giving, <laughs> laughing in the face of all those people in bike shops around the world who go, you don't need a 40 cassette? Motherfucker. Fuck who has come ride with me. Northern Thailand, mate, I'll show you some climbs. You'll be walking up, son. You'll be walking up. Wake up. This is fucking epic, man. This is epic. Okay, cup and cup. Just filling up, get some water, and this is a coconut flavored little Sprite. It's pretty good. This is what I love about Thailand. There's bananas here. It's jackfruit down there. Like, you know what I mean? Look, do you pay for them? You take them? Like, what's the deal? The ramness of Thailand. It's a fucking awesome place here, man. Real special. Woo! Oh, my back. This is an epic ride. This is an epic ride. I don't think many people are going to finish today. This is probably the hardest rafter ride in the world. If you can think of a harder rafter ride, let me know, man. I don't know how it's going to be harder than this. This is fucking epic. Fuck man, that's intense. That's intense climb in the heat. Oh, what a scorcher. My legs feel sizzled. Look at that switchback. Fucking steep. It's about six foot. It looked like a king cobra. A little baby. Six foot baby, they get big, man. Wow. I wish it stayed around, I could film it, but they're so timid, man, they're so timid. We went right in there. That's where my foot is, just in there. I can't see his tail. 
one of the world's most dangerous snakes. Do not try this at home. This is a wild king cobra and I'm fucking holding it. Yeah, and the phone's ringing. That'll be mum. Hey mum, I've got a king cobra, I'll be late for dinner. This is ice. Oh, this is fucking good, man. It cools you down. The little uh, coconut beer and Sprite with the ice cube in my leg definitely made me feel better. Oh, nothing beats a hard earned VB Chiang Mai fucking coconut beer. Mm. Oh, better than sex. Almost. Nothing beats a hard earned thirst Sprite. Ah, this ain't any old Sprite. This is Thai Sprite. Check that out. That is fucking big. Put that in your front yard in Adelaide. Epic. On the Brighton it says it's 38 degrees Celsius in the corner there, 38. Oh, and you really feel it when you stop. Oh, I need a shower, a cold shower. Fucking so great fucking just jump in the shower and go. Love it! Just came back, got water into me now, got a litre and a half, I'm gonna drink this. I'm gonna have some root beer, some simple sugars, uploading to Strava. You can see the, I'll do a bit more detail on this later on. On my cycling channel, go to Duran Rider Cycling Tips if you wanna see the full, full data for this ride. And uh, yeah. I'm gonna put my feet up against the wall, lay down, put my eye mask on, and so grateful that I can just j go jump into a shower, turn the shower on. I mean, there's people out there every day in the world for less than two dollars a day, breaking their back seven days a week, digging trenches, doing crazy labor jobs. So we can whine and complain about how hot it is on our little fancy bicycles and our little rides, but reality is, man, it's, you know, half of, half the world is in less than two dollars a day. And those people are battling fucking hard every single day. They're in pain. They're, I have to take painkillers to get to work and they just, just for two bucks a day, man, just to survive. Put things in perspective. Put things in perspective. Always finish with some sweets, some water, some fruit. I don't have any starches later on. Okay, fresh cuts. Here we have the pineapple. Beautiful, great stuff. High glycemic fructose after training. This pineapple in Thailand is legit. The first time I ever had it, I sent it back because I thought it was tinned pineapple back in my fruitarian purist days. She says, it's not tinned, it's real. This is called Sirata Cha. And so she cut me a new one. And I ate it, I was like, oh my God, I was wrong. I'm sorry, I was wrong. This pineapple is the most legit pineapple in the world. It's called Sirata Cha. It's hard to find. When you find it, make the most of it. <laughs> pineapple is done. Spoon for some papaya. See, in Australia, you wouldn't have someone sitting there counting their money. That's like a couple thousand baht. That's like almost like a that's, a, lot, that's, a, that's like a couple of weeks' wages. It's as if you'd see that in Australia, someone just counting through money. They wouldn't, because they're probably going to get mugged, unfortunately. Thailand, very safe place. It's pissing down here now. Woo! Beautiful. Welcome to Chiang Mai. Let me be your guide. Are we still going? ปีที่แล้วมาเข้าเจ็บปวดสักสนามเนี่ยเป็นอะไรสิบสิบวันสิบสิบปีใช่ไหมเจ็บปวดสักสนามเนี่ยเป็นอะไรสิบสิบวัน
cross your heart and kiss the hand Every verse is murder An illustrated wild style of Australia Being spoken like an end to end burner When will toys learn that a fraudulent word Will have them history X with their jaw on a curve Sort of disturbed, forced to serve All those who don't deserve to have a 33 and a third in their name I sing it's a shame like the spinners I don't hate the scene, I hate lame ass beginners